Hi and welcome to Runway and this is the Tech Life L5T seated scooter. Come on, come on. Let me tell you more about it. Well, the sun is out. <laughs> Finally, it's been three years. Also, a huge thanks to TechLife for providing me this scooter for testing purposes. And as usual, you also have 5% off on the TechLife site. And the TechLife L5T is very similar to the TechLife L5 I reviewed earlier. To see that review, uh, just click on the link here. So I won't go through all of the details, but but for a quick overview, we have a 350 watt motor in the rear. We have disc brakes in the rear and in the front. These are mechanical brakes and the battery capacity is 470 watt hours. Very similar to the Xiaomi M365 Pro. It's a 36 volt and 13 amp hour unit. And of course, like the TechLife L5, it has suspension in the rear and in the front, making the ride super comfortable. The scooter naturally also folds. It has 10 inch tires front and rear. These are tube tires, very soft. The width of these tires is two and a half inches. But of course, there has to be a reason why this scooter is around more expensive than the TechLife L5. And yeah, it's packed with features. Not only including the seat, which might be a big appeal to some riders, but also mirrors and better lighting, which increases the overall safety of the scooter. I don't know about you, but I think that all scooters should be equipped or should have at least an option by factory to have indicators like the TechLife L5T. Since it's way more difficult because of the size of the wheels to just stretch your hand out like on a bicycle. So this is really cool and actually if you listen really closely in this area here, you'll hear how the indicators turn on and off. Naturally, it also has rear turn signals. Here's a space for a registration plate. It might be for German users since they have uh, these plates in Germany. And there's also a red light with a brake light, which is very well visible, especially in the night. The F5T also has mirrors, which makes you see everything that's coming up behind you. And now it's not the fastest thing, so it might be more needed than in a dual trend thunder. But still, I think that a mirror is a really important part to increase safety in, in any personal electric vehicles. Now, I'm not of a fan of this huge size of these mirrors, but still it makes them really, really functional. I think at least an option of uh, additional mirrors should be available in all personal electric vehicles, but like mostly scooters, because on a unicycle you can get around with a mirror on your hand. Taking a brief look at the handlebar, it's very similar to the L5s. Here are the here is the indicator switch. There's also a horn, uh, which works when the scooter is on, of course. Yeah, that's better than just a bell. Here you can see the screen, which is totally the same thing like on the uh, the Tech Life L5. Also illuminates in the night. Here's a throttle throttle. And luckily it works from zero kph, so you can easily just start when you are sitting on a scooter. And I know that this might look funny and a lot of friends just wrote me that this adds like 20 years to, to, to my age. And 
there might they might have a point in that but this is also mostly the demographic for this kind of scooter and I have to tell you just look at the suspension travel in the rear and the front I I was quite surprised to find out that uh, the e-bike I was testing yesterday, uh, the Impulse Shape, was less comfortable than the TechLife L5. I mean, this suspension in the rear just works wonders and it's really comfortable to ride on any kind of surface. You can also see me riding in the rain now and in puddles. It is not recommended since there's no uh, IP certification, but I think that there won't be any bigger issues if you ride this thing in the rain but don't drive through puddles like i did yeah don't do that <laughs> here another look on the rear disc brakes and sadly the mud guard here is just a tiny bit shorter than on the l5 so i wish this was just a tad longer but it's metal look a metal mud guard this won't break ever jesus christ that's awesome and here again the front disc the front suspension and a really nice 10 inch tire now just in my case i would probably go with a standing scooter because uh, though it is fun to ride seated and i actually quite like it and a lot of people do ride seated scooters um, yeah I, I would probably just take a standing scooter but still for someone who has not enough space in their home to just get a bike or has stairs to overcome or other issues this is really cool because this weighs around i think 27 kilograms i know it's not the easy it's it's not the lightest of the devices but it still does fold and very easily the process takes like under a minute or just half a minute there's no tools required and obviously it's way easier to travel and take this thing with you than uh, than an e-bike The quality of this uh, device is really nice, there's no rattling. The only thing probably I found very similar to uh, the L5T is when you really turn sharply in one direction, it locks up the brake. So yeah, that's just the thing. It's just a matter of cable routing. Uh, other than that, there's really no issues I found here. There's a kickstand, use just works perfectly, also easy, uh, easily accessible. There's also grip tape here. There, the, the driving column is not loose at all. It's stiff as hell. Uh, the, uh, the folding mechanism is also really nice. All, all the cables are also secured with this sort of, I know, this thing thingy <laughs> i think that it doesn't have uh, as much power or torque when going uphill than like the nine bot max but for sure i wouldn't advise you to get a seated scooter without any rear suspension because this will be just very uncomfortable and here the addition of 10 inch tires suspension and a really comfy seat makes this thing really 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 comfortable <laughs> so anyways if you're still here Please leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. Tomorrow, I am taking the Saran home. <laughs>